All right, this is grade five, module one, lesson six. And in this lesson, we are going to be comparing decimals. So in, in Eureka Math, parents and teachers, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, maybe uh, doing something other than the traditional way of being taught how to, how to compare decimals. Uh, I'm going to focus what Eureka Math does is uh, they use the place value chart a lot. So this place value chart and what they're asking us to do is to put these numbers, these two decimals, in our place value chart. So we're going to start with 16.45 16 and 45 hundredths and then the other one is 16. Four, five, four. All right. Uh, also known as sixteen and four hundred fifty-four thousandths. So the idea would be, uh, as as taught in Eureka Math, is to look at these two numbers and let's look at this first one up here. Well, we've got one in the tens column, six, six in the ones column, four in the tenths column, and five in the hundredths column. So the idea would be, well, what's in the thousandths column? A big old fat nothing. So we can put a zero here. And now this allows us to look at these two numbers and we can see that this first number up here can be thought of, and now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna slightly deviate from Eureka Math a little bit, but we can think of this as 450 thousandths like that versus the other one is 454 thousandths. And so now we can see that 454 thousandths is larger than 450 thousandths. And so therefore we know that our symbol is the less than symbol. We know that this number is larger than this number. So this number is larger than this number. Another way to think of it is you can say, well, Let's compare their tens. Well, they're tied. Let's compare their ones. They're still tied. Let's compare their tenths. They're still tied. Let's compare their hundredths. Oh, they're still tied. Ah, finally, we have a winner. And we know that four is larger than zero, so that means 16.454 is larger than 16.45. Let's just continue practicing. So we're going to begin by writing both of these numbers, both of these decimals, into our place value chart. All right. Now here's the thing. Teachers, you know this, but a lot of students will say, hmm, 10 is smaller than 99. Therefore, they're going to erroneously, or they're going to, students are going to mistakenly think that this number is smaller than this number. Because, of course, 10 is smaller than 99. But when we place the numbers in the, t in the place value chart, we can see that, okay, let's look at this first number here. That right here, there's nothing in the thousandths place, so we can fill in a zero meaning there's nothing in the thousandths place. Now suddenly, we have 419 and 100 thousandths compared with 419 and 99 thousandths. And now all of a sudden we can see that it's actually the number on the left is larger than the number on the right. All right, another way to think of it is that tiebreaker thing. Start at the hundreds, they're tied. Start at the tens, they're still tied. Go to the ones, they're still tied. Ah, right here. Automatically, one is larger than zero, so no matter what follows, no matter all this junk that follows, the fact that the one is larger than the zero, so their one-tenth is larger than zero-tenths, that automatically declares the winner, essentially. Like, it automatically declares that this number, 419.10, or 419 and 10 hundredths, is larger than this number. Right? Two different ways to solve the same problem. 
Well, just more of the same, only this time it's a word problem. I mean, it, it's written in words, so 158 thousandths. So we've got to write that number down. So 158 thousandths looks like this. And if we want, we can put a leading zero there. We don't have to. And then the next number, 0 0.58. So teachers, remember a common mistake that is students are going to see 158 and think that 158 is larger than 58. And, uh, but that is a, a mistake. It's common. They're not really using place value because what we can see, if we want, is we could say, well, this 58, he's got 5 tenths, 8 hundredths, how many thousandths? Well, zero. So now that allows us to look at the numbers, and we have 158 thousandths, and we have 580 thousandths, and clearly 580 thousandths is larger than 158 thousandths. So our inequality symbol looks like that. It's the less than symbol. Now, another way to do it is we can say, well, oops, the, the ones place are tied, and right here, the tenths place, oop, instantly we have our winner. Five tenths is larger than one tenth. So automatically, we know that 58 hundredths is larger than 158 thousandths because this 5 tenths is larger than 1 tenth. Here it says arrange the numbers in increasing order. So we've got four numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4. And we're supposed to go in increasing order. And now if I were to write all of these numbers in, in, in our place value chart, so we have 8.08, 8.081, getting a little crowded here, and then we have 8.09, and then we have 8.008. .008. Now if we wanted to, one method, is we can fill in our gaps here. So that first number had nothing in the thousandths place, so we put in a zero. And this third number had nothing in the thousandths place, so we put in a zero. So now we can see that all of these whole numbers are eights. And we can see that all of these tenths are zero. So now we can just kind of look at, well, we can just look at these decimal port parts. This is saying 80 thousandths. This is saying 81 thousandths. This is saying 90 thousandths. And this is saying 8 Thousands. So that's the least right there. So we're going to put 0, 0, 008 is the least, so he's done. And then we can see the next number up is the 80 thousandths versus 81 and 90. Notice I only put the 0 0.08. I didn't put in that extra 0 because it's not necessary. We used it to help us get the answer, but I'm returning to the original form, which is 8.08. .08. So we're done with that guy. And then we have 8.081, and then lastly, 8.09. Same concept. I'm going to skip this problem because the video is long enough, but the idea is make a chart. Now, here, parents and teachers, the tricky thing on this one is we have a different whole number here. And since they're asking us to put these numbers in decreasing order, we automatically know this number is going to be the least because it's got the smallest whole number. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ooh, look at that. I noticed another 7. Ooh, oh boy, I need to look at this more closely. So we mean, we know that these guys are larger than these guys. So you, when you're comparing, you have to make sure you're looking at that whole number like I almost forgot to do. So let's see if I am able to erase. Can I erase? I see. Ooh, I did. I erased. All right. So you know what? Let's just do this real quick. Come on. Let's just do it. Well, 
Start with the 7. Oh, and let's start with the 8s because we're doing it in decreasing order. So which number is the largest? 8.508 or 8.58? Well, if we were going to put this in here, 508 and 8.58, which number is larger? So it's 8.58. That's because we could put in a thousandths here. And now you have 580 thousandths versus 508 thousandths. All right, so now we know that that guy is the largest. This guy is next because he leads with an 8. Now we can start to look at our 7s. Now, which one is larger? Well, if we fill them in, 7.5 versus, oh, I'm going to squeeze this in here, 7.058. So we can see that this is zeros. So which number is larger, 7 and 500 thousandths or 7 and 58 thousandths? So we can clearly see that this guy is the next one, which is 7.5, and then the smallest is 7.058. Here we go. It says, in a paper airplane contest, Marcel's plane travels 3.345 meters, Salvador's plane travels 3.35, and Jennifer's travels 3.3 based on the measurements. Whose plane traveled the furthest distance? Teachers, I'm not going to finish this problem, but I am going to say this is one of those classic examples, perfect opportunity for the students to put their values into a place value chart and to practice filling in tenths, hundredths, thousandths, and then ones, tens, and hundredths. All right, perfect opportunity for them to practice filling in a place value chart. And that wraps up Grade 5, Module 1, Lesson 6, where we are using the place value chart to compare decimals.